we're debating what a woman is when we should be asking why the left keeps promoting pointless, divisive debates. Over the course of 90 plus minutes, Matt Walsh's captivating and important documentary, What is a Woman, never mentions God. It's the equivalent of exploring the truth regarding Tom Brady's NFL career without referencing Bill Belichick. It's a glaring and telling omission that damns American clergy far more than Walsh, a courageous, faith-inspired public intellectual, and his provocative documentary that explores how and why the question, what is a woman, became loaded and controversial. Walsh frames his documentary as a search for truth. Based on his finished product, his hunt for the truth never led him to a church or forced one of his interview subjects to reference God, Jesus, or the Bible. Walsh's film is worldly. It fights a spiritual war on secular terms. This is likely a choice made by Walsh and his Daily Wire collaborators. I reached out to Matt uh, yesterday via text and he wrote me back. I asked him the question, why well, no God? Uh, we didn't want the film to be a theological debate or to present the issue as though you have to be religious to disagree with gender ideology. Sunday, uh, Sunday after, uh, that's the approach the left would have wanted us to take. Our fundamental goal was to reveal the irrationality and absurdity of gender ideology. The left and corporate media have demonized evangelicals, particularly white ones, to the point that Christians have publicly de-emphasized their faith. It's a trap. The left intentionally makes arguments devoid of logic, facts, and reason so that conservatives foolishly believe they can win public debates without ever invoking the ultimate authority. It's a political rope-a-dope that baits the left's opponents to flail away at a soft decoy target while never landing a real blow on a crucial issue. The left love heated arguments over pronouns, pregnant men, the treatment of unarmed resisting black criminal suspects, and racist, sexist, homophobic microaggressions. The, those disputes distract Americans from assessing the damage caused by the 60-year systemic attack on the nuclear family, the foundational element of religious faith. We're debating what a woman is when we should be asking why the left keeps promoting pointless, divisive debates. Walsh's documentary ends with his wife providing the simple answer the alleged therapists, social scientists, doctors, and professors evaded throughout the film. A woman is an adult female. It was a clever ending. It's not a powerful one. Before I go on, let me state that The Daily Wire, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, Jeremy Boring, Candace Owens, Michael Knowles, and Andrew Clavin have no bigger supporter and fan than yours truly. They have aggressively engaged in the political culture war. My problem is that war is controlled, defined, and graded by the secular industries, the media, entertainment and technology, and institutions, academia and, po and politics that are the sworn enemy of evangelicals' best soldier, Jesus Christ. That war is Vietnam. It's fought on unwinnable terms for believers. It forbids use of nuclear weapons, prayer, the Holy Spirit, and the gospel. The war we can win is spiritual. If we win that war, the proper politics will fall into place because the culture will demand it. The U.S. Constitution is misunderstood and reviled today for the same reason gender has been expanded to include the whims of individual feelings and emotions. America abandoned a biblical worldview. God created the man-woman binary. It's in the Bible. It's not up for debate. The confusion over this issue is man-made and satanic. That needed to be stated clearly and concisely in what is a woman.